A public safety diving team is more than likely going to be deploying a boat with either a towable or a hull-mounted side scan sonar. The purpose of that piece of equipment is to scan the bottom of the lake to look for anomalies, things that shouldn't be there. In many cases, that could just be a log. It could be a rock formation. It could be some other structure on the bottom of that lake bed. And oftentimes, most of the anomalies that are found on a sonar system are not the target that they're looking for. To verify those targets, many teams are deploying divers through a process called bounce diving. This process involves the diver going to depths up to 60 feet rapidly and repeatedly, oftentimes with as little as 10 to 15 minutes of bottom time. This can be incredibly risky for divers. You don't know what that target is on the bottom. It could be a huge entanglement hazard for that diver. Another common technique we see is a process which is called dragging. So rather than deploying a diver through that bounce diving process, they're deploying hooks off the back of the boat and dragging these hooks in order to hopefully latch on to whatever that anomaly is and then bring it to the surface. Rather than deploying divers through bounce diving or deploying hooks in the hope of dragging that victim, Deep Tracker ROVs can be deployed really rapidly to verify each one of those anomalies on that bottom of the body of water. Using our onboard imaging sonars, we're able to quickly navigate and identify each anomaly. And using our onboard 4K camera or our higher frequency sonar systems, we're able to get a positive confirmation on what that target is. We are also able to use our onboard grabber to latch onto the victim or something nearby in order to lock in that target. Teams then have the decision to deploy divers and do a diver-based recovery. Or using our ROV system, a fully remote recovery is able for victims up to 300 pounds. Having an ROV in the water and completely eliminating that bounce diving process makes things much more efficient and effective, but significantly safer for all those divers involved. And when we take that a step further and are able to do a fully remote recovery, the impact can be astronomical. In addition to large area searches, which we just discussed, small area searches are very common as well. Take the case where a car is driven off a pier. Normally we'd be deploying divers in without any situational awareness on the environment, the vehicle's condition, as well as whether somebody was inside or not. Being able to deploy an ROV very quickly and get that information to that dive team can make a significant impact. We're able to get to the bottom, locate the target in its exact position, and whether somebody may or may not be inside, as well as any additional hazards. So when a diver goes into the water, that operation is going to be inherently safer.